Geek Seekers, I'm Nick. Around about four months ago, Cooler Master sent over their Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition and we did an install guide for it for AMD AM4 systems. In that video, I said I was going to do an Intel version of the installation the following week, but it kept slipping my mind. On our AM4 version, we've had heaps of comments from people asking for an Intel version, so... I thought it was about time that I actually got to work and gave you guys exactly what you wanted. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition on Intel 20XX socket motherboards and Intel 11 5X motherboards. And yeah, let's do it. Before we begin, I want to make this super clear, this is for demonstration purposes only. Every system, motherboard and setup is different. This guide is to give you the fundamental idea of how to install the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition on Intel desktop and HEDT motherboards. Make sure you watch the entire video before asking any questions because chances are, I'm going to answer all of the inevitable questions that you have in this video anyways. Anyway. Let's start it off by actually answering some of those inevitable questions right off the bat. Yes, it's RGB. Yes, you can install a second RGB fan on it if you want to. Yes, you can put whatever fans you want on it. Yes, everything that you're seeing in this video is included in the box. Yes, it will be able to be installed on every Intel motherboard and CPU combo that you're going to ask about in the comments from around about 2006 all the way until the foreseeable future. Yes, it will work with Aura Sync, Mystic Light, RGB Fusion and Polychrome RGB. No, this cooler is not compatible with AMD's Threadripper CPUs. No, it's not addressable RGB, and you will need 12 volt RGB on your motherboard to use this if you were to plug it into your motherboard. Now that's out of the way, let's take a quick look at what's in the box and the common installation steps for both types of installation. Alrighty, let's take a quick look at the Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition and what's in the box. Now this isn't going to be an in-depth unboxing, we're just going to take out the, the box basically that has all the things to install the cooler on all sockets. And yeah, that's the box right there. We're going to open up and just show you what's inside. So what you'll find inside is all of the mounting hardware, all of the brackets, the RGB controller, basically everything you're going to need to install this on every single system. I think that's what I just said. Anyway, moving along. Now, these are the brackets that you will use if you wanted to install a second fan on the cooler. Uh, there isn't a second fan with it. It's only got one. And this is the backplate that's required for AMD and Intel installation. And this is required for the 11.5X Intel installation. Let's pull the cooler out. It's got a 120 millimeter RGB fan mounted to it. And you can actually mount a second fan to it. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at it. Not too in-depth. This is what the cooler looks like up and close with the fan on it straight out of the box. Okay, let's do the installation steps that are required for both socket types of installations. Now, this is the Intel mounting bracket. This will be used for every type of Intel installation and both of the installations we're covering in this video. You'll also need two of these screws. They come in the box as well. And all you need to do is get the Intel brackets, put them underneath this little lip on the cold plate of the cooler, get the screw on a little screwdriver, put it through the hole and tighten up the brackets. Now you'll need to do this on both sides of the cooler as well and we're going to show you how that works now. We just rotate the cooler around and do the other side as well. You can take the fan off in this step or you can take it off later but what we're going to do is actually take the fan off now because we'll, we'll have this off until we're finished installing. It's usually one of the last things we want to do and yeah make sure you pull the sticker off the bottom of the cold plate as well. You'll notice this has got the AMD bracket on because this is the clip from the AMD installation guide. Let's show you how to install the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition on an Intel 20XX socket setup. This is for HEDT motherboards that have cooler mounting on the socket retention system. I'll put a time code and a timestamp for each section in the pin post of this video and in the description if you want to skip to the 11.5X installation section. Let's do it. Now these are all of the parts for an Intel installation for both sockets but we're only going to need these two parts 
from this selection of parts. Right, so what we'll need is this little Phillips head socket and we'll need four of these bolts that screw into the retention system on the socket. What you want to do is use these bolts and put them in each corner of the retention system for the 20XX socket, just like so. And yeah, just rinse and repeat this process on every single corner so you can mount the cooler. What you want to do after that is actually get that little Phillips head socket and tighten it, but not too much, just a little bit, just so they don't come out later on. And yeah, just look, look not much force at all, see? Nice and easy. Right, we're going to use the master gel thermal compound that actually comes with the cooler and we're going to apply it to the IHS of this i7-6900K. I like to draw a little Y shape. Uh, I've shown in the past how well this method actually works for these IHSs, so yeah, trust me, <laughs> it works. And what you want to do is drop the cooler on and just give it a little bit of a wiggle to spread that thermal compound all the way around and use your screwdriver to fasten the cooler to the socket. Pretty straightforward. Next up, we're just gonna put that fan straight back onto the cooler. Let's give it a little bit of a press. It clicks in once you put it back on. And we're going to locate this CPU fan header on the motherboard, and we're going to plug the PWM cable from the fan into the motherboard so your fan can spin. Next, we're gonna do the lighting for the fan. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can use the included RGB controller which plugs in just like so, and it has a Molex power connector that plugs into your power supply as well. But the way that I would recommend actually connecting this is using the 12 volt RGB header on your motherboard if you have a newer style of motherboard and plug the fan straight into the motherboard. All right, we're all done. Let's show you how to install the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition on an Intel 11.5X socket setup. This is for Intel desktop boards from around 2006 until the foreseeable future. Let's do it. These are all the parts you're going to need for an 11.5X installation of the Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. Right, what we want to do is actually get the backplate. I'm going to show you how to put the bolts that go through the backplate that work as pegs. What you want to do is grab four of these pegs and put them into the holes that are labeled Intel. And you put them on just like so. And there's these black plastic clips that also go in to hold these in place. And all you need to do is slide them on like that and put a bit of pressure on so it actually clips and hooks on just like so. Yep. And the next thing we're going to do is just rinse and repeat that process for every single corner so we get all of those pegs installed nice and easy. And once we get all of those in, what we want to do is slide all of them back to the second notch on the back plate. And you can notice that as you slide them back. They're actually, you, you can feel it. And that's what it should look like once it's installed. And here's a bit of a different and closer look at the back plate once the pegs slash bolts are fully installed. So the back plate actually feeds through these holes on the motherboard and all it does is it mounts to the back just like that. I'm holding it there on a weird angle so it doesn't slide off, but what you'll need to do is actually hold it on as you put it through. And what you need to do next is locate the Phillips head socket and locate four of these long nuts. Yes, they're called long nuts. And what you wanna do is fasten them to each of the pegs on the back plate that are coming through the holes on the top side of your motherboard. Very, very easy, very, very straightforward. I would recommend just finger tightening these in as you're going around and putting them all in. And once you've got them all finger tightened in, then use the Phillips head socket to get it up nice and tight. And w when you're doing this, you don't have to worry about over tightening them because the nuts themselves will actually stop rotating and it is the perfect amount of mounting pressure to get the back plate on nice and tight. Once you've done that, what you want to do is actually look at the offset on the cooler, pull the spring back and adjust the offset for the bracket. It's pretty straightforward. Apply a nice dollop of thermal compound in the center of the IHS. Get the cooler itself, lower the cold plate onto it, give it a little bit of a wiggle to spread all that thermal paste goodness all the way around and get your screwdriver and fasten each corner up. It's actually not too hard of a cooler to install. It can be daunting at first, but you know, I'm here to help you out. Next thing we're gonna do is put that fan back on just like this. Just give it a little bit of a push. 
and locate the CPU fan header on your motherboard and plug the PWM fan power connector from the fan into your motherboard. And like the 20XX socket, there are two ways to install RGB. You can use the included controller, but the way once again that I would recommend to do this is actually finding an RGB header on your motherboard and plugging it straight into your motherboard. And once you're done, it should look a little something like this. I think I covered pretty much every single thing in this video. If you've got any questions, feel free to head on over to our Discord or drop a comment down below. Make sure you read the comment section because possibly and most likely myself or someone else would have answered your question already. And yeah, please take that into consideration before asking any questions. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. And tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And I just want to apologize again that it took four months to get this video out, but it just kind of slipped my mind. And we've had a lot of people requesting this guide in the past like two or three weeks. So yeah, it was time. Thanks for watching.